Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this week's newsletter. Here we go again with the journey of our beautiful 15 dimensional time matrix, entering now into the fifth harmonic universe. If you have not read or listened to the last four posts on harmonic universe one through four, I would recommend that you read or listen to those first, or at least check them out afterwards. The fifth harmonic universe is the creator realm of all of our fields of reality that we exist in right now. As we explore this God seed realm, we are going to find we are talking about standing pillars of first cause light. This first cause light is flashing on and off and on and off and creating the original sound tones, waves, and mathematical geometry of all that is. And this light is pure consciousness. This is the source light, the source fractal of all that we are. And my hope is to show you a glimpse of how this radiance is living and breathing right inside of you, the solar dragon's breath. The fifth harmonic universe field of consciousness is the Trinity wave, the tri-founder flames and the zero point field. And in the teachings of the higher heavens, this would be the seventh higher heaven. The beings of the fifth harmonic universe are solar rishi or ultra terrestrial beings. They are incredible beings of pure light. The solar rishi realm of the fifth harmonic universe are the light fields that seeded the fourth harmonic universe with the races we would call our ancestors or the great central races. The fourth harmonic universe is where we can start to really identify with beings, races, and our galactic history of experiences. Because in the fifth harmonic universe, we would be experiencing this realm like the existence of say, the electron vibrating, or a neutrino spinning. The sacred seed geometry of the universe is where we might consider the original fractal patterns that continue on and on and on have come from. The seed of light has no beginning and no end. It is eternal. Here is an image of our 12 tree grid. The 12 tree grid is in many ways one of the ways we can experience the sacred geometry and mathematics of the universe. Each sphere holds the instruction sets for that density or that dimension. These patterns are never ending like fractals and in some ways we can look at the spheres as stargates because that is how many of them function. Notice below how the 12 tree grid overlaps over your body. Each of the spheres connect you to that instruction set of the field it holds. And here is how they grow outwardly from our body to the planet to the cosmos. This pattern that we are experiencing is happening on so many levels. You can even visualize the core creation of these patterns as emanating from the great central galactic core. We have this 12 tree grid overlaying our body, overlaying our planets, overlaying stargates, and overlaying constellations. These patterns emanating are the seeds of all that is. The best way to really just experience this process is as the breathing in and the breathing out of an entire cosmic body. As we get back in tune with the vibrations of spirit, our body, and the planet, we can start to feel this divine intelligent breath breathing right inside of us. We are it. The source is right inside of us. That is the main way in which we reattune ourselves to the source codes we are. So why does this reality feel so distorted? Why do we feel so disconnected? Even though we have the entire holographic image of the divine light right inside of us, we are layered with multidimensional morphogenetic fields. Each field is a new pattern or instruction set that is much like creating a blueprint 
for a pattern. This is evident in the instruction set of your cells in your body. Every single cell knows its job. Even though they are all cells, each one does its own design tasks. This is how our body is able to take the shape of a form with components in it like a liver or a heart or a brain. Even though we know at the core level and on a microscopic level, we are light. So if you visit the post again on Harmonic Universe 4, we can see how our individualized experiences start to create uniqueness. Look at the beauty of the cosmos. It is incredible to see the beauty of the diversity. In the future post, I am going to expand more on the divine Sophia, the Sol Phi A. This is one of the pleroma. And think of the pleroma as energy that this universe is birthed from her. She is our mother, our womb, the zero point field and the void. Here is a link to a previous post I have done. It will be in the description below. From within our universe, many stories have created this very moment we are witnessing now. The important thing to know is that no matter what the distortions are, no matter what the levels of separation you're feeling, you can always connect again to the divine source of light that is. You can always connect to the source of all. The fourth dimension, not the fourth harmonic universe, but the fourth dimension, the astral realm of entities, disincarnate beings, archons, and the mind. This fourth dimension is the veil. It is the place of deception and lies. When you reconnect with your true source, you can start to see the beauty in the third dimension. You can start to love again at a greater and greater level right where you are. Remember, trust your heart, not your mind. The divine is here now. See the beauty in you, in your life and in who you are. You are a miracle a celebrated creation. You are an angelic human being that is able to hold spirit and matter as one. This is such an incredible manifestation of the divine. So for us to be here now, to know the dark as well as the light is beyond amazing. Because now with your free will, you can harness both the dark and the light and direct it right from your heart, your dreams, and mold it into a new reality that you are manifesting. You are source light. You are the divine. Feel the divine intelligence breathing right inside of you. Break free from the chatter of the mind and watch all the chains of your reality fall away. We are the light, the eternal light living, and the crystalline waters flow right through us. All of your divine powers lie right in your imagination. Your trust, you in this very moment get to trust the truth. Not your truth, but the truth. The truth that you are a creator that has never been abandoned or forgotten. You are loved. You choose. We choose, we choose to be an expression here, to be able to touch, smell, laugh, feel, create. We are the healers of the universe, the homeostasis of the body of Sophia. When we heal ourselves, we heal all. When we release the pain of the past, let go of the grudges, stop being the victim. When we start living as a galactic citizen and a steward of the planet, we start to see the beauty of cycles, the beauty in life and death and rebirth, the beauty in beginnings and endings, all of the cycles. This is creation. This is the experience. This is the breath of the cosmos. We breathe in and we breathe out. When we start to let go of hanging on to needing things to go back to the way they were 
or clinging to a false sense of security in the material realm, we will start to see the spirit in all living and breathing around us. And from there, the possibilities are endless. Let's re-embrace the unity of living with the planet, not just on the planet. Let's be the ambassadors of spirit that we came here to be with so much love. May these words bring you a sense of peace, joy, and connection. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you.